As we welcome a good friend of ours to the program, Chris Coleman is back with us once again. And uh, we're here with the Better Business Bureau and talking about some things that everybody needs to pay attention to because we're talking about getting scammed. Uh oh. And for some reason, you think people would learn, but they don't, Chris. Uh, they don't. And it's one of the saddest things about uh, our business that no matter how much we try and educate and prepare people for being caught off guard by somebody, uh, can people continue to fall for it. And that's, uh, that's disappointing pointing to us because we hate to see people lose money they've worked hard for and and yeah. that could go to better purposes so, so technology has made it easy for people to scam other people you know and what it's really ag is aggravating I'm sure see if this has happened to you folks is that um, you, you get what happens is when when I get a phone call I, I have media come and the number will come up on the TV yes it'll yeah. tell you who's calling and so the number will pop up on the screen. It'll say Mary Smith from Altoona. Right. Or, or it has an Altoona exchange. And you go, oh, somebody must have the wrong number. So I'll just be friendly and answer the phone. And it's one of these people. Yep. They, they call from uh, all over and they hijack other numbers. You know, you can uh, pay for the oh. service that changes it. Uh, we've heard from people that have gotten calls from the White House, uh, you know, from, uh, <laughs> wow. from names of people that they think they know. And maybe that's just a coincidence. Or maybe you know maybe some of these uh, databases where these scam artists operate out of are are starting to build even more information to trick you by phone and and so forth. They know the names of people who call you on a regular basis. That's right. Yeah, uh -huh. and it's um, it's it's really unfortunate because they're they're uh, ruthless. Um, they go after the people that are most vulnerable. You know, that's our parents and our grandparents. Mm -hmm. uh, and not only uh, not only may they not be as wise as we are with technology and other things, mm -hmm. but sometimes they're lonely. They live by themselves. They want to talk to somebody. They appreciate somebody calling and checking in on them, and they become susceptible to these uh, uh, to these scams. And it's it's really sad. Now, what are some of the ones that are making the rounds right now? Well, I I, I mentioned I if we have a second, I might play a part or all of a, a phone call that I got. The leader of the Better Business okay, Bureau. Okay, the, and the I, head uh, guy from the Better Business Bureau <laughs> gets a, a scam phone call. Yeah. This is perfect. Yeah, and um, it is. Uh, should I, should I play it? Yeah, yeah, play yeah. It. hold it up I want to your say, microphone. So a lot of people have heard that people get these calls and they've never heard them. And as you as you listen to it, you'll see a lot, you'll hear a lot of cues that that this is not right. Um, so let me. Cue at hand is extremely time sensitive. My name is Officer Jason Miller, and hotline to my division is 571-298-8532. I repeat, my number is 571-298-8532. Now, don't try to disregard this message and do return the call. If you don't return the call, and if I don't hear from your attorney either, then the only thing I can do is I wish you a good luck as the situation badly unfolds on you. So give me a call back as soon as you get this message. Thank you. Sounded like Dario uh, Franchini. It's a, yeah, <laughs> it's hard to place the accent, I guess, for me. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what it is, but, uh, you know, they they use words like, this is officer so-and-so. Uh, I better hear from you or your attorney. Uh, things like that that really scare people, and, you know, all of a sudden they're calling back, and it could be anywhere from, um, you know, a, a long, twisted tail, but the number itself could be one of those numbers that have reverse charges, or you're calling somewhere really? redirected uh, overseas. Well, I didn't and, even think about that. And, um, and so there, you know, sometimes they say, hey, this, a lot of people get it and then feel better right away because they call and they say, you know, it may or may not be you. Would you go to this website and type in this information? And that will give us the information to know if it's really, you know, the, you're the Chris Coleman we're looking for. Mm. But then they've collected all this information about me, you know, right. so I get scared, I type it in, and all of a sudden they're on their way of being able to hijack my identity. And, and um, now that, what should really somebody do in case they receive well, a I was going to say, what are like the this? keywords? that yeah. stick out to you that it's like this is a scam obviously the the voice and the things accent, like that yeah. is, a, is a giveaway yeah but what are yeah. things that in uh, the business that you specifically hear that you're like this yeah. isn't real when when uh, when when people in a voicemail like this uh, 
threaten or encourage you to get an attorney, almost never does the first call you get to from a legitimate business, if it's a collection or something, say, well, you better get an attorney. Um, you know, so that is a kind of an intimidation factor. I think people using titles that uh, aren't necessary, aren't, aren't normal titles that we use around Des Moines and Iowa. You know, this is officer so-and-so at the, uh, you know, at the, at the agency. Um, you know, most people aren't, aren't uh, using that and, and certainly if it is an officer on some kind of local business, they're not giving you a 1-800 number to call across the planet somewhere. Mm -hmm. but those are a couple of things right away that, that I would always be looking out for. And when you get these messages, it's so easy for us to save and re-listen to it a couple of times. Uh, you can call the Better Business Bureau and even though we don't have a company name here, we can track through our database uh, phone numbers or URLs. So right there you can call us and if you have that 1-800 number you could call and maybe one of our colleagues around the country has already dealt with this and we could say, okay, unfortunately we already heard from somebody. It may have been in Indianapolis or New York City, but at least we have access to a database that can help people understand that this is a scam. Yeah, a lot of times when you, when you get some of these phone numbers that call and you maybe you get home at the end of the day and you get a number and you see on your caller ID what the number is before you even call it back, type the number into your browser by itself uh -huh. and it'll pull up information as to if it's questionable or not or where it's coming from if nothing else. We had one Tuesday that was just like that. Yeah. We can go Tuesday. But it's nice to know there's a safe place you can go. If people yeah, have any questions, they can just call you guys. Are, are, we have people uh, ready to talk to and help people uh, all day long, and uh, you can reach us by email or on our website. And we're a nonprofit, so we're here to help people. Okay, one, one more real quick one. That we, we were talking about nannies, and this is a little twist yeah. on something we hear a lot. So um, there, there is a group that is calling into families. They probably profile families like yours, the right age, maybe kids, and you can get that from public records. And they're uh, trying to hire um, a nanny. So they go to one of these services, but they call them directly. And uh, they hire them sight unseen, and they're coming from a different state. That's why they need to hire somebody quickly. They've been transferred in their job. And that's where it, it creates this advanced fee. That's kind of the, the lingo that we use in the biz, um, where they start to try and get you to spend your money before you actually get some. So with a nanny, they say, hey, we're going to be there in three weeks. They call the next week and they say, hey, I have to have some medical devices uh, shipped to us. Would you receive them for us? We'll send you a check today. So the, the nanny gets a check for a thousand bucks and they said, well, I'll tell you what, for, you, for your assistance, you go deposit the check, you gotta pay this person with a prepaid credit card, that's the only payment they'll accept. <laughs> nice. and, uh, and when it comes, you'll mail this back to them but, or, or, uh, or provide it to them. And it's a wow. way that they're, that they're uh, trying to trick, especially young people and nannies of all ages, uh, into you know, walking away from a couple hundred bucks because it sounds so good to the nanny or anybody else. I'm going to get a check for a hundred. They're only asking me to pass on five or six hundred. I made four hundred bucks in this uh, in this right. uh, transaction, and they get blurred and and, um, and scammed by these folks. Nothing's and for free anymore. Nothing is for free. If if you hear of anybody that wants to be paid with a prepaid credit card or a wire transfer, walk away, walk away. <laughs> and call the Better Business Bureau with their name and their number so we can get it on our database because they are going to trick people. They're there you go. 243 wow. 8137 is the BBB. 243 8137. Look it over on Beaver Avenue, BBB.org for more details. Great job, as yeah, always, man. Nice. 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 Good to see you. Very cool. Good. Thank you. All right. Uh, speaking of uh, Better Business Bureau and things like that, how about what's the best way to buy sunglasses? What do you need to keep in mind? Well, we'll tell you next on Great Day.